The concatenate function in Excel 2016 is a great time saver because it allows you to quickly and easily join text, numbers, or both together and present them in one column. Rod here, and let me show you what I mean. Here's a database of information on your employees who are located in different states and departments across the United States. Let's say you decide to create a directory of new email addresses with the extension at expertsinbusiness.com for your team. And you need to send this new directory to your clients. So how do you do this? Well, first you must find the concatenate function, and there are two ways of doing it. The first way is important, especially if you don't know where to find the function. So. First, click the Insert Function tab, which opens the Insert Function window. Now you can type a brief description of what you want to do and then click Go. Excel will take you to the function. Or you can select the category by clicking the drop down arrow and click on the function you want. Another way is you can scroll through the hundreds of functions list until you find the function you want. This can be challenging because there are over 300 functions listed. The second way is faster, especially if you know where to find the function you want. Since you've been watching our Excel video series, you know that the concatenate function is in the text category, which is among the categories already listed in the function library. So go ahead and cancel the search process. Now return to the function library and instead of clicking on insert function, click on the text tab. Then scroll down the options and click on concat, which opens the concatenate function. This is what you want. Remember your goal is to create a new email directory with the extension expertsinbusiness.com. So create a new column F and type in the extension. Next. Either type in the text you want to concatenate or select the cell where the text is. Type in the text if the text doesn't have a cell reference. For example, expertsinbusiness.com text didn't have a cell reference, so you typed it in. But this text does have a cell reference, A6. So select cell A6 and see it appear in the text one space. Look to the right of the text one space to see what is actually going on. Now use text two to make the spacing right by typing in an at sign and putting quotation marks around it. These entries should look like this. As you saw in video five of our Excel series, quotation marks creates space in the formula. Next, select the reference cell F6 for text 3. This links the first name of the employee with the email address extension. And should look like this. You can concatenate as many columns as you need. So let's do one more, but this time join the first and last name. Go to Formulas again and click the Text tab and then Concat. This time select cell A8 for text 1. Select B8 for text 2 and type an at sign in quotation marks in text 3. Now select F8 for text 4 and the result should be this. Freddie Jones at expertsinbusiness.com Since you use cell references to do concatenation, you can right click the bottom corner of the concatenated cell and drag it down and let flash fill complete the new email directory for each employee. Now you can copy the whole column and paste it as an attachment to the email you send your clients. So that's how quick and easy it is to link text or numbers together using concatenate. It saves you a bunch of time when working with data. If you still have questions, click our coaching link and we'll work with you personally. Let us know if you liked the video and feel free to share it with your friends. 
Be sure to subscribe and receive future videos automatically. Thanks for watching.